From technology perspective, what kinds of difficulties that the electric vehicle industry is facing? Well, I think that the major issue in EV is not so much the technology for the car. Well, there are two. One is, of course, autonomous driving, having a car drive itself. And we're not there yet. There's been a lot of、um, discussion about that, lawsuits, people getting killed. It's not there yet. But I think the trend of moving more and more to that, having more and more safety features,、uh, more and more autonomy, taking more control away from the driver and putting it into the computer using artificial intelligence and high tech. So that is definitely occurring. So that's one change. And of course, the other big issue is not the car itself, but the batteries and the range. We are facing a fundamental challenge to build the infrastructure. If you look at the infrastructure for internal combustion, you know, we have gas stations and diesel and petrol everywhere. Well, those, that infrastructure was built with a lot of incentives, tax incentives, and so on over many years. And it's not going to be replaced overnight with charging stations or charging technology. However, that's going to work.、Uh, but there's new technologies. The batteries are becoming lighter, they're coming, having longer range. There's discussions now you know, of wireless charging so that when you pull in the parking lot, you can connect automatically and charge while you're shopping. You don't have to even think about it. There's a lot of interesting possibilities about how this will work. And I think the technology to do that is available. We just have to build it. And so it's a major restructuring, major investment. So I think the autonomous driving and the charging are perhaps the biggest technological challenges facing the EV industry, not so much the car itself, that they know how to do, I would say. You know, in a regular car, you know, there's a big hump in the middle because you have a drive shaft coming from the engine to the rear to turn the axle. Now, you put、uh, the electric motor sits on the axle right there, as well as the recharger. So, there's no drivetrain. A lot of the systems that you need are, are not necessary. As I said before, it's a much simpler technology. It's much faster in terms of acceleration. You can't beat it.、Uh, it's, you flip a switch and you have 100% power. So, if you like to have very fast acceleration, this is going to give it to you. You don't have the noise, you don't have the smell. But that can be replicated too. They could create the noise artificially, I suppose. So it's inherently a simpler technology. If you go back to the history of automobiles, the first cars that were built were electric. And they were the, around 1900. Those were the dominant cars. And for some reason, they decided to switch from electric to internal combustion. I guess it was cheaper.、Uh, but the original design of cars was electric. And、uh, it is in many ways a superior design, I think. Maybe if you're a, a car buff, you don't like to hear that. But I, I think at the end of the day, it's a simpler and more effective technology、uh, and has a lot of advantages. Now, there are challenges, as I said,、uh, primarily the, the range issue and the charging and things of that sort. I think that can be solved. I think we're in the road of solving it. It will take some time, however.